Hello, everyone, and welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in, and welcome to your second installment of Connecting with Your Inner Masculine. However, I have shortened the title to just Your Inner Masculine. Yes? This series this is a two part series. Uh, one being a video for your masculine energies, inner masculine energies, the other being a video for your inner feminine energies. This series has been born from my personal journey uh, or my personal experience on the twin flame journey, which is a, a process by which a union, a divine union is achieved. That being the union between masculine and feminine energies, okay? Um, so in this series, I am looking to bring forward some guidance, clarity, and some understanding in terms of how to connect with your inner masculine or your inner feminine energies. For this reading, I'm going to be focusing on the masculine. Yes, please keep in mind that this is, is a general reading. Okay, so I'm, I'm channeling for the collective right now. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Also keep in mind that this is a timeless reading, just like anything else on my channel. So whenever it resonates for you at that time, then that's the message for you. Um, so, But also keep in mind that the intention here is to look at what's going on in your internal reality, okay? Um, you may be able to get some sort of inclination or understanding about you know what may be going on with an external individual that would represent or embody these masculine energies or if you're watching the feminine energy the feminine video that, that would embody the feminine energies but really the intention for these videos here is to help you understand what's going on internally with you so that you can bring this balance of masculine and feminine energy within into balance okay like you could bring this balance or this inner, inner union together yes um we all have masculine and feminine energies within us that make up uh, in, in in you know different proportions to each individual in question but ultimately that make up the whole of what of what or who you are yes um now obviously you know, you can either fall fall on either side more dominantly. Like me personally, I am a more feminine dominant individual. Obviously, though, I am a man. Um, I mean, you, you can't really see my face in the video here, but I am I am a man. I promise you. <laughs> but energetically speaking, I fall more on the feminine side of things. Okay, um, so. In terms of this, when we say masculine or feminine in these readings, in these videos, or anyone else that does this type of work, we are not talking about gender. Gender has nothing to do with it. What we're talking about are the energies within, okay? So, with all of that said, also keep in mind that this is a general readings, but if you would like a look into your personal situation, like if you would like a personal reading in terms of this, please go ahead and email me. I would be very, very happy to do that for you, okay? My email can be found in the description box below. So let's get straight into it. I have a number of questions I'm gonna be looking at here and I'm going to be using a number of tarot decks in order to answer those questions and then we're gonna close out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Dragon Oracle deck, yes? All right, guys, let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please help us give an accurate and clear representation or understanding. And please help us open the lines of communication between us and our inner masculine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into this here. So the first thing I want to look at is what the current state that the masculine is in. What is the current energetic state of the masculine? You know, where is he? Where, where, what is he feeling? What is he doing? What is he experiencing right now? His current surrounding energies, if you will. For that, I'm going to be using the unicorn tarot here. And I wanna, I'm feeling like I should only really give this three shuffles. So I'm going to do that. So, for your inner masculine, what state is your inner masculine in right now, energetically speaking? What are the current surrounding 
energies or the current circumstances that your inner masculine could be facing or is facing right now. I know I said three shuffles, but I want to give it one more. We're going to give this one more shuffle. So four shuffles here for your inner masculine. Current, current energetic state for your inner masculine here. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. The masculine has union, maybe even marriage on the mind. Ooh, queen of cups. He's good. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. Okay. This is some really good energy, you guys. So uh, what it looks like here so far from what I can see, we have the four of wands, the queen of cups and the ten of cups. I just want to look at let's just to make sure nothing else flipped over. It didn't. Excellent. Overall energy. Ooh, we've got the moon. And we also have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so overall energy is the moon. For the masculine right now, there is a very deep and strong focus on the feminine. Union with the feminine. Connecting with the feminine. Which is really interesting because I just did the feminine reading. And um, part of what the feminine wanted us to know, what our inner feminine wanted us to know, was that her... Her efforts on working on a change in perspective have been influenced by the masculine's desire to connect with her. And so now here we see that 100% straight out the gate, okay? We have the Four of Wands, which is a union energy, right? And our discussion here, the topic of discussion is how we can bring the masculine and feminine into union together um, and through connecting with both sides. So the masculine energetically right now is desiring this union to take place. Four of wands, all right? This is also a card of marriage. It can be, all right? So there could be the inner masculine is really looking for a partnership, a strong partnership, a deep loving union, okay? Being able... Mm, Oh man, okay, I, I'm really feeling this energy right now. The masculine is really, has a strong focus on the feminine, first of all, all right? And her unconditionally loving abilities, her ability to love unconditionally, unconditionally with the Queen of Cups. Also, the overall energy of the moon here represents feminine energy. Now, funny story, um, uh, or funny coincidence, though I don't believe in coincidences, okay? There's no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason, guys, but... I'm recording this on Saturday, September 14th. We just had a full moon on the 13th. Friday the 13th, no less, all right? So the energies of that full moon are probably really helping the masculine connect with his inner feminine energies, all right? We have the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. There's a desire, there really is a desire for to, to, to kind of like ride in and connect with the feminine. There is a really passionate desire right now to connect with the feminine. Okay, but what I was also picking up on is there is a desire, a need to be loved unconditionally the way the feminine would love the masculine unconditionally. Okay, and I'm also kind of, in terms of that, I'm feeling a, a desire to break free from some, some sort of, some form of conformity, some sort of conformity in order to be loved unconditionally for who he truly is, not the part or the role he has been guided to, influenced to, forced into playing. Wow. Okay, that is excellent. And already we're, you, that is very much in line with what the feminine was saying was what she needed in order to connect with her. True, complete, 100% authenticity. So masculines, if you are gonna go and watch that reading, Number one, I highly recommend that everybody watch both, okay? But also, um, the guidance there was to make a choice, and that choice was to choose you, choose your, choose your authenticity, your autonomy, all right? So it looks like that's kind of what the masculine is, that's what the masculine is facing right now. That's what he's coming to understand. And for some of you masculines, I'm feeling like, this is something that's starting to creep up in your mind. These are some things that you're starting to realize that you actually truly do want, that you truly desire. Wow, that's really beautiful. Okay, next topic of discussion. 
What is the challenge that your inner masculine is currently facing? For that, I'm going to be using the epic tarot, yes? All right. So, in terms of your inner masculine here, what challenges are you facing? What challenge is your inner masculine facing? What are the obstacles he's needing to overcome? What are the challenges that your inner masculine is facing right now? I'm going to give this one more shuffle here. All right. Here we go. So the challenges that your inner masculine is facing, what are they? Wow. The four of wands again. Whoa. Okay, well, the challenge right now, what I'm hearing is that the, the challenge is a desire for the union to come together. Um, and it's interesting because in this deck, the wand suit is uh, the suit of books. Okay, now wands is definitely a suit of creativity. All right, so writing, uh, artist, being an artist, like writing music, writing poetry, writing stories, blah, 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 um, creating art painting, whatnot, whatever, all that kind of creative stuff. It also is a suit of spirit, the fire of spirit. But what I'm getting with here, uh -huh, the challenge right now is a desire to change the story. Now, here's the thing. This is why this is challenging for the masculine right now. You can't rewrite the past. Whatever is done is done. And facing that, owning up to that is a strong challenge for the masculine right now. I want to get some more on this. What's underneath the deck here? The Six of Pentacles. Ooh wee. There is definitely a need for reciprocity here in your life for the masculine. But let's see what else. What, what else? What is challenging the masculine right now? I mean, what I'm hearing is a desire to change the script is the biggest obstacle for the masculine right now. And yet... Yep. Okay. Overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We've got, and, and what I was saying is, and yet, with the sun here, especially with the, wow, with the hermit and judgment and the knight of wands again. I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Um, but with the hermit and judgment and the sun, what has happened in the past was absolutely necessary in order to learn the hermit. Not the Hermit, I'm sorry, the Hierophant. We have the Hierophant, the Sun, and Judgment. And here the message is quite clear that whatever has happened in the past has given the masculine the opportunity to rise above any sort of sense of conformity. Oh, the Ten of Cups again. Wow masculine okay but now we have the king of cups the knight of wands again the oh there's more the seven of swords oh the eight of wands mm. Ooh, ooh. okay uh also the challenge ah, is communication clear communication not deceptive communication clear and honest communication the also the challenge here is being emotionally responsible emotionally mature Okay. Stepping up to the plate. Honoring a commitment you once, uh, what I just heard is honoring a commitment you once made on the other side before you physically incarnated into this body. But you see here, part of the spiritual lesson for you, masculine, or for your inner masculine here, has been to come here to face an element of conformity but then needing to change that and be an individual and go in a direction that's truly right for you between the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Oh, what I wanted to explain in this deck, the Kings are, um, well, the pages are unicorns. The Knights are griffins, which is what this is here. The Queens are phoenixes and the Kings are dragons. Okay. But it's through this sense of authenticity and emotional responsibility, emotional maturity, okay, 
between the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. That's going to bring you this Ten of Cups, masculine, or in terms of your inner masculine. And looky here, looky here, we've got the counterparts. In the current surrounding energies, the masculine is indefinitely being heavily influenced by feminine energies. Definitely has the feminine on his or her mind, okay? In the current challenge for your inner masculine, we have the counterpart in the King of Cups. So the current challenge right now is owning up, stepping up to the plate, being the king to the queen that he desires to be connected with so much. The unconditionally loving queen that literally just loves him for who he is. Not who he wants to be, not who he wants, or not, yeah, not who he wants to be, not who she may want him to be. Because in, in all honesty, this queen, if the feminine is in this queen of cups energy, she doesn't want him to be anything other than who he truly is. She doesn't want him to do anything other than what truly makes him happy. Brings him joy, excitement, brings him fulfillment. But he can't do that if he's acting in ways that are less than integrous, in, less than integrous and less than um, autonomous. I hope that was, was that the right word? Is integrous even a word? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I think you get what I'm saying. In the past, the inner masculine or your inner masculine has been emotionally deceptive. And now the, eff he's, the, the effort is being put forth or needs to be put forth to change that, okay? Starting a new beginning, having a new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles, offering something of commitment, of something of strong standing. This is coming, stepping forward to the plate, having something real and substantial to offer the inner feminine. Because even... If you think the, any external feminine energies are not going to put up with any BS or half-assed offers, what makes you think your inner feminine is going to put up with that too? Let me tell you, she definitely is not, all right? So if you want to come into balance or into union with this inner feminine of yours, or if you want to have this union with your inner masculine, there needs to be an effort put forth in being and living with integrity because that's what the inner feminine stands for. So in terms of getting to connect with your inner masculine, that is what he is facing right now, okay? Living <clears throat> with integrity, authenticity, and emotional re responsibility, emotional maturity, being a torchbearer, being a, I mean, okay, being a light worker of sorts, but you don't have to be some crazy spiritual person. You don't have to be, I don't know, like me or any others that are out here, you know, having YouTube channels and, and, and spreading all this like esoteric and mystical wisdom and doing tarot and oracle readings. You don't have to do it that way. Being a light worker literally just means shining your light, anchoring more light into the earth, into the grid, into your surroundings, and just being a bearer of light, but that comes from being in an authentic state because you cannot shine any other light than your own. Aha! Okay. Okay, so now moving forward, what does your inner masculine want you to know? If you could have a conversation with your inner masculine right now, what would he want to say to you? What does your inner masculine want you to know? Okay, well, there it is. Temperance, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, Page of Cups is peeking out from the bottom here. Six of Swords is in reverse. I'm being instructed to leave it that way. <laughs> All right. The Page of Cups is peeking out down here. And what he wants you to know right now is he's sorry. 
He wants to apologize. He wants to make amends. He wants to make things right. And he feels like he can't move forward. Six of Swords. He feels like he's stuck. He's bound by past circumstances. He's asking for balance, temperance, also patience. He's also letting you know that he's not really all that willing to move forward right now, mainly because, well, okay, mainly because he's going through this process of integrating, he's going through this process of balance, so that's why he's kind of asking for patience, but also what he's truly saying here, what the inner masculine is truly saying here is, can we please work together? Because I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I can't move forward because you won't forgive me. I want to apologize to you. I want to make amends. I want to make things right. And I can't move forward with this. We can't move forward unless we put the past behind us. All right, there is a desire to move from rough waters to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. But he's saying that he, until, until you allow me to apologize or until you allow, until you accept my apology, whether it's physically speaking or even energetically speaking, he can't move forward. We can't move forward is what he's saying. Ace of Wands. What does your inner masculine want to say? I mean, he's inspired. He's inspired to move in this new direction. But I hear him saying, I feel like you hate me. I feel like you never want to see me again. Page of Swords. And I'm sitting here watching you like, why can't, why can't, good golly. I feel like you hate me. Yep, there's that Eight of Swords again. He's stuck. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to connect with you. He wants to make amends. I'm hearing he wants to make ends meet. He feels this inspiration to do so, but I'm hearing you're not allowing him to do so. He desires his divine feminine. And it's funny because I just heard, I just I was just having a little bit of, this, of it, like a, a, a back and forth in my head about it. And I guess that was my inner feminine kind of coming forward. It's like, well, wait a second. Wait a second, why is my energetic state or my reaction to things having such a heavy effect on you? It is not my place to make you happy or make you feel good about yourself. Hold on a second, feminine, hold on a second. He's saying this because he wants to make amends with you. He wants to make amends with his inner feminine, his divine feminine, whatnot, whatever. He wants this union, this happy family, this happy marriage to come together. And he can't do that without you. If you are unwilling to put the past behind you, to make amends, to let bygones be bygones, if you will, then this marriage can never happen. So he's asking, can you please just like let me in? Let's see what else we can get here. Oh my God, there's the Four of Wands again. Marriage is coming to you. Five of Wands though. This is the inner conflict. This is the differing of opinion. This is the bickering. This is the pettiness. This is the back and forth bullshit. I mean, it's not the Five of Swords, okay, but it's enough to keep him at bay. It's, the, it's enough to keep the two of you apart from each other. It's an ego battle. And yeah, all right, cool, I get it, I understand. I'm the king of the ego battles. I get it, says the masculine, but, but fighting fire with fire is not gonna get us anywhere. There's more, I wanna pull more. Just one more message here. What does your inner masculine wanna, want you to know, wanna tell you? The hanged man. He's been working on a change in perspective too. He really has been. And that's what's allowed him to, yes. 
That's what's allowed him to get to this place where now he really wants to connect. Six of swords is underneath the deck. Your inner masculine wants you to know, please, can we just put the past behind us? I, I, me personally, Eric, the one that's channeling right now, I, this feels so emotionally strong that I kind of almost feel like I'm on the verge. I, I almost feel on the verge of tears. But this is just such an emotionally charged message. It's like, I've been working, says the masculine, I've been working on a change in perspective too. I promise you I have been. It may not look like the way you want it to look. It may not look like what you expect to see in the 3D world, but fuck all that. I've been working on a change in perspective too, and I want you to see this in me, is what he's saying. But I can't do that if you keep shutting me out, Eight of Swords. I can't do that if you keep shutting me out. I can't do that if you won't allow me to show you. I want to show you, Ace of Wands. Can we please just put the past behind us already and get on with this? This is what we came here for anyway, isn't it? I mean, okay, yeah, I know you're telling me that I've once forgot about or getting back to the to the to the commitment that I once made on the on the on the um uh in the non-physical before we actually physically incarnated here, but if you keep pushing me out, if you be keep cutting me out, aren't you kind of doing the same thing? Ooh. This is not an ego battle for the masculine anymore. This is a, wow, whoa. Channeled message here, this is a true desire to connect with his twin flame. No if, ands, or buts about it, guys. Oh man, that is strong and powerful, y'all. All right, so let's move forward. <laughs> with all of that said, what action steps can we take in order to connect further on a deeper level with our inner masculines here. What action steps? What action steps can we take to connect with the inner masculine? And it's so funny. I do want to say that I live, I live in Brooklyn um, and a building across the street, directly across the street from me, is building 144. If you guys have been following me on my channel for some time, you know I've been saying during the morning coffee readings, which are my daily readings if you're unfamiliar with it, um, but I've been saying on morning coffee that they've been in the process of tearing down building 144. And the twin flame journey is resonant with 144,000 hertz, which some say is a frequency, others say that there's actually 144,000 true twin flames. I don't know. I see it more as a frequency, a vibration. It's a frequency of unconditional love. And that's what I have come to believe the twin flame journey is here to help bring forward. Okay, help the universe or help humans on earth reconnect with unconditional love. And it is a, a hard journey to get back there. Yes, we've kind of deviated off the path. Pretty hard body, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to get back there. But they have torn down building 144 and now they are rebuilding it. I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not in the process of rebuilding it right now. They're actually still in the process of um, digging up some of the concrete foundation that was a part of that building. But they're going to rebuild it at some point, And that's really, really significant. Especially in terms of what's coming through with this reading right now. Okay. But keep in mind, guys, you can't, you, you're not going to be able to have this union with an external being until you have this union internally. And the, some of the things that you, some of the problems you may have had with an external representation of the divine masculine energies are very much connected with your own problems that you have with your internal masculine energies. I mean, we are mirrors here, okay? Okay. What action steps can we take to connect with our inner masculine energies here? Last shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got. What action steps can we take? Oh, and I'm sorry, I was using for the last one about what your masculine wants to take and what your inner masculine wants to tell you. I was using the Golden Universal Tarot. For this. <coughs> 
<clears throat> excuse me, for this part, action steps we can take, this is the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. Yes? Excellent. Let's see what we've got here. Action steps that we can take to connect with our inner masculines on a deeper level. Action steps can we take to connect with the inner masculine? I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I kind of feel like we already discussed that through what it is the masculine wanted to say. In order to connect with me, three of wands. Wow. In order to connect with me, you're going to have to let the past go. The past go. But also, in order to connect with your inner masculine, you're going to have to get back on your path. Um, and I'm going to say I resonate with this too. As the feminine counterpart I, here, the individual that embodies more of the feminine energy or feminine dominant energies, I kind of, in essence, I kind of said, fuck this. I'm not doing this shit anymore. And I and I and I got off the path while thinking to myself, well, you know, I'm still I'm still serving my mission, but I'm absolutely rejecting any sort of energetic connection or thoughts or feelings that come through surrounding this individual. And then I started to realize that I was actually in fact rejecting my own inner masculine energies. Holding them at bay, keeping them at arm's length. And that was not part of the path. Part of the path is not to downplay your emotions or say I'm not or, or, or make yourself believe that you're not hurting. That's not true. You're allowed to hurt here. The pain is necessary because the pain is leading towards healing and a realization or a reconnection with unconditional love. But if you're continuously pushing your inner masculine energies away, you're not on the path. Three of Wands. You need to allow the ships to come in. <laughs> king of Swords. And the King of Swords is kind of saying, look, be, be objective about this. I mean, isn't this what you agreed to? So then why would you push it away? Let's see what else we can get here. Action steps we can take to connect with our inner masculine. Allow the ships to come in. Eight of Coins. Do the work. Do the work to open yourself up. We have the Seven of Cups. <laughs> we have the Knight of Wands again. And we've got the Five of Wands. And the Star as the overall energy. Healing, allow the healing to happen. Allow yourself to reconnect with your wish of desiring to be connected in this, in this union between masculine and feminine. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let go of the conflict. Let go of the strife. Let go of the confusion. Face the things that are, are, are hurting you that are keeping you from, that are, that are continuously keeping you in an energy of pushing your masculine energies away. I'm seeing the Knight of Wands as the masculine energy here. Wanting to come in passionately. Allow yourself to receive your own inner masculine energies. I just heard, in order to connect with me, you're going to have to face what is hurting you. I can't do this alone, says the inner masculine. The Knight of Wands has come out three times here. And what I'm seeing that as is a representation of the masculine's desire to, to move forward. No, he may not necessarily be the king of wands yet, but this feels like 
This feels very innocent. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this feels very innocent. Sure, okay, he may have some things to learn, but he wants to learn them with you. He wants to learn them with his feminine, his inner feminine. He wants to be a team again. Okay. 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 It's a good reading. So then let's get our oracle guidance to close it out. This is much shorter than the feminine reading. The feminine reading is almost an hour long. <laughs> but homegirl likes to talk. <laughs> so whatever. All right. So oracle guidance here for connecting with your inner masculine energy. Last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got here. Here we go. Whoa, there we have it. Just one, okay. Aww. Dusky pink dragon from Andromeda prepares all your chakras to embody higher love. Well, shit. Accept and radiate higher love. Touch others with its flame. Oof, that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, ah, seventh dimensional. Ooh, 94. Okay. Here we go, guys. All the stars in the constellation of Andromeda embody a beautiful love and acceptance beyond our current understanding. The seventh dimensional dusky pink dragons of Andromeda carry the vibration of transcendent love. If we are ready for their light, they circle round us and when they pour it, this special energy into our chakras, our aura is illuminated by a glorious pink light. This enables us to radiate love and light at many different frequencies and transform the people we meet without them being aware of it. These dragons also work with crickets who come from the same constellation. Their song carries the codes of higher love from Andromeda and their mission is to bathe the natural world in this vibration. The guidance of this card says, receiving this card indicates that you are ready for higher love. The dusky pink dragons from Andromeda are suggesting it is time for you to carry this luminous light in all your spiritual energy centers. Touch your star, I'm sorry, touch, touch your stellar gateway, soul star, causal, crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, navel, sacral, base, and earth star chakras in turn, breathing in dusky pink and affirming, I accept and radiate higher love. As you do so, have a sense of these dragons breathing pink into all your chakras. You become a flame of ineffable pink love. Be aware you now have the power to touch everyone you meet with the flame of spiritual love. Know that when you work with the dusky pink dragons from Andromeda, you can make a huge difference to the ascension of the planet. There is, I mean, there is a sense of needing a, a deeper understanding or a, a stronger connection with unconditional love in order to really connect with the masculine. The masculine feels like he is bound by the past and his actions towards the feminine. Until the feminine, in essence, gets over it, for lack of a better term. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but that's kind of how that, I mean, that's kind of the harsh truth here. Until the feminine really just gets over it and starts moving in a direction of unconditional love, okay, regardless of past circumstances, then things are not going to move forward, period. That's just the way it is. You will be continuously leaving your own masculine energies out in the cold, which is going to keep you from achieving this inner sense of balance and union that we're all striving for. This does not mean that you forget about the past. This does not mean that you allow someone to come into your life that is not in an energy 
of or in alignment with understanding the mistakes of the past and working on being better. If someone is coming back into your life and is still kind of fucking around in that fuckboy energy or is still not really giving you what you know you deserve, still is not acknowledging what in essence would need to be acknowledged in order to have a really balanced and harmonious and reciprocal relationship, then obviously this is not someone that you need to have in your life. But as long as you are continuously saying there's no way that's ever going to happen, or you're continuously beating the dead horse of what happened in the, of the mistakes of the past, both yours and his, yours and his both masculine and feminine, or I'm sorry, both on the part of the masculine and feminine, then, then nothing's ever going to change. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.